Right, golf mates, I've got a bag of tricks for me. Today, I'm gonna to show you my secrets of YouTube. Yes, secrets. Look at that little case. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you big secrets I've learned. And if you're thinking of setting up a YouTube channel, you'll understand and might wanna do it yourself this way. But also, I'll show you, I'm gonna show you all my gear properly, what I use, but then, oh, sorry. If you're new to the channel, much welcome to you. My name's Liam from The Golf Mates. I'm one of many crazy people. There's some interesting people on this channel, so consider subscribing and being a golf mate for free. I'm here at Chalk Commodity and I'm gonna show you my secrets. Right, golf mates, so here we go. I'm letting you into the secrets. I kinda did one of these videos before, but I didn't go really into depth and I just did it in my kitchen. It weren't like, well, it weren't a proper one. So I've took my time on this one, right. Three secrets I'm gonna get to as we go through it. Right, the cameras are used. This is what I'm showing you now. I forgot what it's called. I think it's a Sony AX700. As you can see now, beautiful and smooth that. That camera was £2,200 when I bought it. Problem is, because I bought it, I want to get it better. I bought two. So Joe, the editor, when he starts in June, he's got one now learning to work it because it's probably too complicated for what I use. I probably don't need it, but it's class. Now let me get this straight, it was expensive. No, it's about £1,700. First secret, when you get to all this, I'm gonna tell you straight away, you don't need out like that. Right, second camera. For people who've watched the channel for a long time, this is a Canon 750D. Now when I used to do the Sunday show, or whenever you see me in the garage, this is what I use. And to be fair, it's really good. But do I need it? Not really, but I bought it. For why? I don't know. I just presume when I was starting YouTube, I needed to get a lot of stuff. But it is a good camera, but is it redundant? I never use it because I'm hardly in the garage, am I? Second camera, one of the first ones I bought is this. Little GoPro. Great, isn't it? Nice little stand. I'm going to be honest with you, never use it. Obsolete. Right. No, though, this is what I do use a lot. Or if I want to make a great cinematic video, which I don't do many because I don't have time, but also you've got to know your audience. So here's a secret of YouTube, know your audience. I think if I spent a day editing and made something so cinematic and beautiful, half of you are not bothered. And I mean that, but this is a DJI Maverick Pocket. And what it is, it's like a gimbal. Now this here, this gimbal, which you can see now, that is the same gimbal as what's on my drone and same camera, so it's 4K, that is class, absolutely class. That does a lot, that makes it nice and smooth, so you can see now all close-up shots you've seen of all the cameras, is because of this, because it's class. Right, your phone. This is how I do shot tracer on here. People are asking about shot tracer, dead easy. Apple Store, it's just an app, £4.99 called Shot Tracer, dead, dead easy. You can just search YouTube to how to do it, but it's so easy. Bar it's a cheap app so not a lot of times with light sometimes it's hard you've got to like manufacture it so it's not super true but it gives you a rough idea where the ball's going i still prefer running back and zooming to the camera but your iphone i'm going to be honest this iphone is a new one puts all my cameras to shame so the quality of this and the color it picks out the blue sky unreal so sometimes you've seen the vlogs when my camera's nice, next week you see the shot tracer and it, the picture's just beautiful. And that's where, again, my big expensive camera, I don't know how to work it to get the best out of it. So you've got to set it up in manual mode and do a lot of messing with it. And then it'll be the same as that, or if not better. But normally I just use that as like a point and shoot. I just open it and Bob's your uncle, do you know what I mean? Right, on top of there you'll see our microphone, which I've totally forgot. I'll put it on, what it is. What I like about that microphone, like again, I've got times two of them, they were 180 pound, or was it 210? Not sure, but normally with some microphones, you've got to switch on, and there's done many a times, I've been out vlogging, and I forgot to switch my microphone on. That one, as soon as you press record, comes alive, so it's like a foolproof. Hey, switch up, what's I need, doesn't it? Right, I'm gonna go into the piece, persistor of resistance shortly. Tripod, the tripod here, I've got loads of tripods. 
like I said, all you need is this for a YouTube channel. So the first big secret is this, your phone. If you want to do some videos, your phone. But also, if you're doing them, make sure you record it panoramic or on the sideways. You've always got to video yourself on the sideways. It's no good that pointing up straight, no good. Right, next microphones. God, I bought these ages ago. These Saramonic Liver Mark, they're called, or Liver Mark, or Liver Mark, Mike. I really, rarely use them, but I'm tempted to purchase another one for the Scotland trip and sometimes when there's just two of us and mic us up properly. Just in case there's any bits of chit chat we can say, you know, and not, uh, what's, the, what's the word, not miss, because there's so much funny stuff goes on because we are naturally happy, funny people who get banter off each other. And that's another tip. Always be who you are. Be true to yourself, know your audience if you're doing YouTube. And just be you. So I like to think myself of a bit of a clone, especially Mr. Barlow. I still say no, Mr. Barlow is the funniest bloke on YouTube. You have people like my dad who's a character. These are naturally people. We're not trying to be funny. We're not trying to be this. And that's where a lot of YouTubers, you see, when they're trying to be what they're not, they come out, they stand out like a sore thumb. But be yourself. In fact, I'll give you another tip, actually. These tips are gold dust. So tip I got, now, it all depends on you as a person, but if you're always happy on YouTube, that's what people want. Now, for me, I am always happy, but sometimes I'm not. And I just, oh, I am, you'll see. And that's why I like the channel, just being as honest as it is. When I'm down, I think some of you kind of can clock it. Do you know what I mean? So there's three tips already. They're proper secrets, then. Right. Batteries. We need batteries. SIM cards. There's only four there, but Joe's got two, and there's SIM card in every camera you're gonna see now. Always got to have SIM cards. This, a backup. I will be starting using this when Joe comes, otherwise I don't really use it. Right, where have we got? Two laptops, Apple Max. This, were 2,000 pound. Worst money I've ever spent. Got this off a good golf, mate. SD card goes in here. It can't go in there. I've got to buy one of these adapters. Pain in the ass. This is brilliant. SD card in, away you go. And the last time I did this, I sung this praises because it's been a great memory and a great machine. It's come unstuck now because I've got some certain software where I'll get into in a bit and it won't run on here. The graphics cards, no good. Oh, also, I've got another one just for my emails for the giveaways. Right. People say about the draw. No, I'll wreck. I'll put my hand up. There's three people on YouTube who are just as good as each other on the drone footage, and that is average golfer, me, and golf holics. No one can touch us on drone footage. So my drone is a DGA Maverick Air. Uh, can do 4K on it, but it's for good drone footage. Obviously, you've got to learn what you're doing. So I've learned for about two or three years of these. I've crashed loads, but I like to say I get the shots what are different but there's a lot of things you've got to learn a pilot of a drone seriously you've got to learn it it's not easy it's not the case of just flying it forward back and this you've got to have your right sun at right levels coming at angles for see a hole differently but what makes me different is this if i can get in i'll show you these 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 are called uh nd filters i forgot what they're called I do know what they're all for, it's for all for different lights. So I go out the way and put these on. They're like, best way to describe it is putting sunglasses on, like I've got on now. So I can't see the sun, but sometimes you see drone footage in the sun. It's all brown, they've all got a set. In fact, I'm gonna show you an example. So our course is browned off a bit at the moment, but look at that, look at this. Now. <laughs>
isn't it? Because ND filters and I've messed around with the saturation. Right, what else have we got here? I've showed you everything really. Oh, these. Beats headphones, wireless. I got these for America. Mrs. treated me for my money. To do that wife, something they? they're brilliant at that. Uh, I don't know how much they were. 200 pound, 280 pound, I have no idea. The brilliant noise cancellation. So when you're doing your editing, you can just bang it on. You've got no wires anywhere. And I was going to be doing a bit of traveling this year. Got over what happening with that now, but these quality. Power bank, you need that. And this bag. Now this is the one where you're going to laugh. This bag, I can fit all this in comfortable. This bag is massive. Laptop. Now I'm going to be honest with you, this bag was £200. But it's something I thought I'll buy and it'll last. And trust me, it'll last. I need to get up. Oh, my knees. Oh, chicken and rice. So the big secret, sir, is this. That's my gear, how to make the videos. Now, I use Final Cut Pro for editing, which is... It took me about six months getting used to. It really did. Watching tutorials and then trying it. So I was still doing videos, but not using this Final Cut. But it took me a long time. But you don't need that. You can use iMovie off your phone. Dead easy. You can make loads of videos off your phone. I've done plenty. And also, you can buy plugins, which... I'll keep them a secret. They're stuff I use and what you've not seen yet because of... We can't get out. Right. Golf mates. That is how I make a video. Oh, one minute. I'm going to tell you the truth. So, editing a video. If it's a course vlog with no fancy stuff in and it's a four or five old course vlog, I can knock them out now in about two hours. This video you see now probably might take about three hours edit because I've got some slow motion in. Obviously with the DJI, which is all nice and smooth. So, that's an insight of my secrets of YouTube. Always be yourself, but you need to be a character. If you're not a character, you have to be yourself. If you're a teacher, be a teacher. Like I say, I'm not naming names, but if you watch YouTube, people who try not to be who they are, they, they, they stand out like a sore thumb. So, be who you are. Don't be something you're not. That's why you'll never see me doing teaching videos, because I can't do them. Right, course looks good. I'm going to get myself home now and edit this and have a barbecue for a change and maybe a couple of beers this afternoon. See you tomorrow. Big video tomorrow. Make sure you watch tomorrow and have a great day.